Hey, I just wanted to give a quick update here of more on this fuel problem and uh, I took the lift pump off. It was clear that it wasn't pumping any fluid. And unbeknownst to me, there's actually a screen on this thing. One side is a good screen and the other, of course, is that a crud? So if you have some problems with your lift pump, not pumping enough, uh, just take the lid off the top of this thing and uh, you've got access to another screen. So uh, I'm going to clean this on up and, um, uh, you know, hopefully get this thing fired up. So that's it. I want to take a quick little clip here of all the, the fuel filters that are on this thing. And um, starting here at the beginning. And by the way, I, I just went ahead and installed this. This is a probably the simplest place to put this this fuel filter and get a graphical, I'm sorry, a, a visual way of looking at whether or not there's any issues with the material coming into your, your fuel, fuel filter. And um, the, uh, the nice part about it is you can buy these on Amazon and I think I paid something like $8. This is actually glass, which is quite nice. And so I've got that coming on in and you can get a, a there's a, included in the kit is a, a replacement in the fil filter there if, if you should need that. Uh, you can get the, the typical uh, fuel filters. I like the idea of having a glass one. That way I can visually see whether or not there's an issue. If, if, if it is plugged up, I can just clean it on up and put it back together without any, any uh, you know, without having, having any trouble or, or for that matter, being able to run this thing and then plugging it up and then having all sorts of fuel issues trying to get the thing primed again. So I've got the, the, the basic filter here, but there are a lot of filters on this. Uh, if you come on up here at the top, that piece right there, there, if you pull that screw off, there's actually another filter in there. So uh, it's kind of nice. You get the fuel coming on here on the on, on this line right here. I can show it right there. And then it gets filtered and come, gets pumped on out. So uh, if you have any sort of fuel starvation issues, take a look on that one and go ahead and clean that on up. Um, and uh, so pretty straightforward. A very nice uh, design that the, the way that they put this pump together and, and for, for that matter being able to prime the system. So that's it on this side. And then on the other side here, of course, we've got the, the big fuel filter. And, um, and not much to say about this. Um, so it's, you know, I, I, of course, replaced this here not, not too long ago. But uh, believe it or not, there's, a, again, one other filter. The other filter is right here on this, and this, this is a DPA-style pump. Um, gosh, you can't quite see it, but uh, the fuel comes on in. You can barely see the line coming on in. That's it right there. But uh, in this canister right here, there's a big old nut on the top. And uh, if you take this on off, there's another fuel filter in there. And so, uh, you know, if you've got any sort of fuel starvation issues, that's, those are the possible places that you can go after to try to find out if, if uh, any of these filters are plugged. So, um, so that's pretty much it. I've got another video there on how to prime this thing. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and ultimately, uh, in order for me to get this thing primed, I actually have to, you know, even though you do the 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 uh, the uh, uh, priming of the pump and doing all the bleeding, I still need to crack a couple of these nuts here to, to be able to pump, get the, the fluid in the pump so you get all the air out of it to get it to start pumping on through. And, and once you've got all the air out of it, it's pretty straightforward. So, uh, so again, it's a real bummer if you run this thing out of fuel for whatever reason or you starve it. Um, and if you do have problems with it, uh, those are definitely the spots to, to look at. And then, uh, of course, lastly, this is a, you know, this pump is, um, uh, you know, timed. And, uh, you know, you, you, of course, have to put this thing together correctly, but there's also a timing mark right here. So if you look at the paint real closely, there's a timing mark here on the, on the on the actual pump itself, as well as there's a mark on this case cover, and you want to get that lined up pretty well. So uh, pay attention to all this stuff if you if you take it apart, and uh, you know. And I guess it's this Perkins, like I say, once you run it out of fuel, it's a real bummer getting it going. But uh, you know, once it goes, it's fine. 
and hence uh, that's the reason why I put that glass uh, filter on the other side just to make sure if there are any any debris that's coming out through it at least captures it and you can catch it before it uh, you run this thing out of fuel um, so so that's it